if you like to play golf, there's a clubhouse at the golf course with all kinds of clubs. You check out what you want to play with, and you swing, and you leave them there. What the hell are you lugging that junk home for? <laughs> you understand? Know, you got a closet full of stuff, skis, books, everything works like the public library. Let me explain that to you. Years ago, women marched for a public library. Why? Because the books were too expensive and they said all Americans, all Frenchmen, all Greeks should have access to books free of charge. So they marched in Washington, they marched in France and England, and they had rotten eggs thrown at them. Every move that made life better was fought on every front because the establishment, meaning those that are in power, like it the way it is. And they like to keep things the way it is. You understand? We're in a system that benefits everybody without any poverty, hunger, deprivation, drugs. You have to do away with the money system. As long as there's money, you can pay off senators. You can pay off congressmen. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You can buy judges. You can go to the best doctors. But if you haven't got money, you can't do a damn thing. So don't talk to me about equal justice under the law. I don't know what that means. If you haven't got the money to go in for an operation <clears throat> that costs $3,000, you don't go. What do you mean by equal justice under the law? If you're convicted of a certain crime, if you can't afford a good lawyer, you can't get off. People that can afford the best lawyers can get reduced to sentence. So there's no such thing as equal justice under the law. So you got to think about what I'm talking about. I'm not just a... a, a people say, well, are you a communist or socialist? No, because communism uses money, Communism has banks, communism has armies, navies. We don't have any of that. We don't have prisons, we don't have police. There's a reason for it. I'm going to try to describe it. This is the public library, this little building. What happened with the public library? Well, people could go in and check out a book for a week. If they wanted longer, they can check it out longer. Well. There's a camera center, there's a musical instrument. You can check out a violin, a saxophone, a banjo, any instrument you want, just like the library. That's the end of most crime. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you make things available to people, let's say, I don't know you, he steals a watch that's worth $150. His fourth crime. They put him in jail for seven years. It was the third or fourth crime. Do you know how many watches that cost? Seven years of feeding, medical care, and food, and clothing, it's cheaper to give the watch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Putting a person in jail does not make them any better. In fact, they come out worse, antisocial. Putting people in jail is the stupidity of government, all governments, not just ours. They are all corrupt all over the world. Unless you go to some primitive island, it would be different. So, I want you to understand what I'm saying. And, and any questions up to now?